Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and welcome to Uncharted 2 Hyperdrive Overview. This is apparently a sequel, where's the first game? <laughs> apparently the prequel was made for the mobile VR devices from back in the day, though the game looks exactly the same, so I don't know what's happening. Also, I just noticed this is the same developers that made DevLab for Quest, which the support for this game was dropped immediately after release, so already they have a bad track record for me. <laughs> so Uncharted 2 is a dogfight shooter space game set in the world of Nergal, where you fly through the environments and fight pilots. It claims to have some big features, like battle royale, multiplayer, deathmatch, co-op, like apparently it has it all. Oh, even a single campaign. Okay, so this is the whole package then. <laughs> now we already have like an old school space game on quest, which is called Endspace. It's kind of weird to say old school where the quest lineup doesn't even have three years of history, but most definitely Anshar's selling point is gonna be the multiplayer and interaction with other people. That would be kind of it. There's not much to mention in terms of features or storyline, so it's like a very shallow design with pretty graphics. If it's gonna stay relevant on the store, we'll have to see, but looks good on paper, so let's see how it is in action. Oh wow. Since time immemorial, the Ansharian Empire has maintained a firm yet just hold on our galaxy. Peace, prosperity, this was all the people of Anshar had ever known. Holy! But it didn't last. The planet became consumed by famine and conflict. Between resources and population, it lost its balance. It was then, during the Age of Expansion, the people came together and began to extend their reach into the outer rims, into the unknown, establishing permanent mining colonies to support its apex. Once again, Ansha flourished, but at a cost. Conditions in the colonies were deplorable, and soon the colonists rebelled, seeking their independence. The galaxy was again at war. For four long years, the separation wars raged violently, without mercy. Countless lives and planets were lost. Yet it was the Ansharian Empire that prevailed in the end, forcing the colonists' surrender. Peace resumed, ten years' worth. But now something else stirs from within dark space, beyond the edges of the known galaxy, a growing power. The darkness of a threat long since forgotten. And so Anshar calls upon her sons and daughters, and we, Squad Alpha 10, are once again needed. That is pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. Do we have a tutorial? That's the question. We can set camera view for third and first. I should be sitting down, honestly, but knowing the experience from Endspace, first one. I guess let's do first mission in the campaign, then we'll check out the multiplayer. Welcome aboard, trainee. You're embarking where few have tread before. Squad Alpha 10's existence is officially off the record. We do what no one else can and we do it well. Expectations for our newcomers, as you can imagine, are intense. The truth is, most don't survive. You want in? Prove yourself. We've tracked a small contingent of Nergal attack ships en route to our sector. You're flying the Hurin fighter, the only fighter ship of its kind. It's faster and bites harder than any Federation standard you'll find. Protect the mothership. Show us what you can do. Riser out. To meet oh you, my pilot. god. Welcome aboard the Hurin fighter. Let's take a moment to familiarize yourself with its controls. Okay, let's take a look at the heads-up display. Oh, that's intense. I should be sitting down, but I can't change the setup. Oh well. Great, now the real stuff. Shoot your first laser blast. Excellent. Time to test her speed. Launch the super booster. The Huron fighter is equipped with missiles as a secondary weapon, as you can see at the top of your HUD. Let's try it. Tom's live. This is Lieutenant Desmere. Nothing like a live battle to showcase your skills, eh, pilot? This is Tango. We're picking up multiple enemy signals, Des. You want to be a part of Squad Alpha 10, pilot? You'll have to survive an attack from the Nergal. Nastiest space warriors the galaxy's ever seen. You've one objective. Protect the mothership. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My stomach will need for sure. Damn it, where is it? Okay. Stabilize. <laughs> Stabilize. 
Stop spinning. <laughs> Don't do kamikaze at me, please. Oh god. <laughs> Pilot, the mothership is taking too much damage. Destroy those bombers. Where are they? Ow! <laughs> Let's just camp at the entrance. Cool. Do you think be closer to my spaceship? Whatever it is. <laughs> oh my god, not again. <laughs> Let's do the multiplayer. I feel like that's gonna be just a struggle because they fly at me. <laughs> it's just one map? Yeah, for now. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> they didn't get one kill. <gasps> Need ammo. Davy boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Playing thingy. Oh, sorry. Oh 
Okay, because I will never end it. <laughs> in multiplayer, there's no way you can play in first person. Hence why I had to switch mid-combat. It is kind of fun, like you're playing with your little planes and just cause mayhem on the battlefield, at least in multiplayer. In campaign, it's a full-on action in space. So pretty much exactly what end space is. So if not for multiplayer, I don't feel like a carbon copy of the game should be even on the store. It's definitely much more intense with locomotion, but if I can handle it standing up, then it's fine. <laughs> I do really like the graphical polish. Everything seems to be detailed and high in effects, so it's cool. Nothing that I'll pursue playing, but I guess here it is, a dogfighting quest game. <laughs>